Okay, this is uh, Duncan Foley and I'm going to talk you through the uh, tutorial 7 introduction to programming for the Stably. I'm not going to do all of them because I think some of them are um, a little bit uh, self-explanatory. Firstly, I'm going to just talk through the program itself uh, of uh, the palletizing example. Just get into the idea that the uh, these backslashes uh, means you can uh, put comments in. I would recommend you put comments in at uh, appropriate points just to remind yourself what you're doing. Uh, then, so we've got the begin program and we're defining uh, some uh, variables. Uh, so these would literally be uh, num variables. I'm not going to do all of them. Um, and uh, these are our offset values. Um, okay, so uh, for row, so we've got two four n n four loops, and the because uh, we're going to do a palletizing, so we're going to do the first row on the bump tray. Then we're going to pitch over to the next row, uh, and so forth. So we're going to do one to four, and then we're going to come an inch over to the next uh, column, and then there's going to be three columns. So this this again is a uh, it's an unvariable. Uh, each time it goes round, it's going to add one to this. So it's going to drop in, go to the first row, and then it's going to do all of this. And so what's it doing? Uh, we're going to teach the computer where the first point of, on the pallet is or the bump tray. It's going to be named as p local. We've done that so that if we need to re um, uh, reset p local we can just uh, do it by re redefining um, calling up p pick so now we've got p local which is the point on the first point on the tray comes down and we're going to uh, do the translation just in x and we're going to get the value of the offset row so it's going to add a number to it uh, we can see the offset row is uh, minus 40, so it's going to increment minus 4, it's going to take minus 40x from the p local values. This allows us, a little bit of code here, allows us to strip out just the x value and add or subtract from it. And we're doing the same on the y value, but for the, the first time round, uh, the um, we're only changing plus 50 so it's going going around here adding 50 to offset column here and it's going around and around and around until it's done these uh, one to three then it falls out and it gets a new offset row so this starts to uh, come into effect really and it re-zeroes its column so it's jumping back to the beginning so this is quite a nice feature that we can get in there and just affect the X, Y's. We're obviously going to the approach and uh, we've got the grippers uh, that, and uh, everything else hopefully is reasonably self-explanatory. Uh, this is quite a nice uh, example. Uh, this allows us to um, run a program for uh, i equals uh, 0 to 18 and it's going to do this 18 times and uh, it's for the example to follow a wire um, sort of welding or spray painting and, and the like but this is slightly different uh, you haven't come across this so what we're doing here is um, so if I click on here add new data and it's p local, which is absolutely fine. But we've always left the size to one. Uh, we want it to be 19, 0 to 18. What that does is uh, we're on follow line. So I'll just go to the geometry tab, follow line, p local. There's our uh, uh, point that we'll teach. But if you look now, it's got all of these. In fact, if you double click on there, it's almost like a spreadsheet. And what it will do is it will take the first value, uh, I, when it's zero, so it's this one, the, the top one, and that will be the XY coordinates. Then 
i becomes 1 so it comes down to the next and it gets the values from there and we can type these in or that what I did is I literally just wrote this program it does uh, note to 18 and then it goes backwards so it goes along the wire and back I didn't use the uh, the 3d option uh, view here to teach those things points I literally just sent that to the uh, the robot and then taught it all these points in the robot using the um, transfer so I transferred the, this code to the robot taught it all these points and then got the robot to send it back and then I had all these points from the robot okay so uh, this is slightly a uh, nicer one uh, than uh, the previous one because it's literally got no sensors nothing uh, what this does is uh, we've got uh, a switch at the beginning of the wire uh, which means that the the uh, the peg with a hoop in is at the beginning of the wire and it's waiting for that to be true if it's true then wait go into the if statement if I press the start button do this okay and then wait until um, the this, uh, the start button uh, is true and then if this it's got all the way through a uh, wire has gone to the end and then there's another sensor at the end so the the, uh, the peg with the circle on has got to the end of the wire this will become true and if we press start it will run the net run there so it'll send the wire uh, the buzzer back to the beginning so it's having um, three two sensors so these are um, input sensors and these are, um, are switches so we're saying is the pe peg and hoop at the beginning or is it at the end when it's at either one and we press the start button then do the, the for loop a lot of times when I program I like to put text to the screen uh, just so I can see uh, things appearing so if I'm wondering what's happening with code I can actually get it to write the, the value of I to the screen this simply uh, changes the user page and then print so you don't get the standard emulator um, switch that off so you wouldn't see this you'd see the user and you would see leads Beckett and then it would run through here and it would print the line number so I to go one two three to eighteen so you'd see it literally appearing down here and then uh, it would write it backwards eighteen to uh, to zero uh, going in steps of minus one and then at the end you'd see type in M program which is uh, quite a nice way of, if, you, if your program is quite com complex and you're wondering what just what's happening what where the problem is if you print the screen and you can see it in the uh, the emulator okay um, uh, that's a, a brief in, uh, in explanation of these programs that you can find uh, with the handout uh, tutorial 7 I hope that was uh, helpful thank you